My name is James Edward Maceo West. I am professor of electrical and computer engineering and mechanical engineering at Johns Hopkins University, Baltimore. I grew up in the state of Virginia, uh, about 50 miles uh, southwest of uh, Richmond. I got into an awful lot of trouble. If uh, a pair of pliers and screwdrivers existed and something that I could open, it got opened and it didn't always get back together in a working uh, condition. It was forbidden to take anything apart that was working. So I did the next best thing. I started breaking things. The thing I remember most was that the best way to keep me out of trouble was to keep me busy. I completed high school, I entered Hampton University in, with a pre-med major um, and very bored, very unhappy. I um, told my family that I was gonna change my major to physics. I applied for a summer um, uh, intern at Bell Labs and was accepted. One of the main reasons that I chose Bell Labs was that there were other black scientists there that I wanted to be like when I grew up. And uh, Bell Labs was the research arm of the AT&T uh, telephone company. Um, and uh, its objectives was basically to improve telecommunications um, among people and ended up in the acoustics research department, knowing absolutely nothing about, and knew more about optics than I knew about uh, acoustics. and figured that, uh, okay, that can't be too hard. And here I discovered electrics. I'd never heard of the word before, but, uh, but, but when things happen, and in fact, um, uh, I never looked back. Um, it led all the way up to the electret um, microphone. Uh, uh, with, of course, the, the support of Bell Labs and with the collaboration with uh, Gerard Sessler. And this is like a drum in a sense that when you hit the drum surface with a stick, the diaphragm moves. And it converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy. But the telephone system could not manage the three to 500 volts that was necessary for the condenser microphone. And what Sessler and I did was to eliminate the need for a battery. I think the first commercial electric microphone was made by Sony in 1968. 2009, more than 2 billion electric microphones have been made each year. Mathematics is the root of science, is the language of science. And this raised the, the, the first major question for me in science. You know, what in the heck is going on here? Ideas and concepts don't have a, a eight hour shift. Um, um, I can wake up with thoughts that I have no idea where they come from, but some of them turn out to be good ones and some of them not. The, 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 the important thing here is that if you're free to pursue your life dreams, then you will be far better than if you're pursuing somebody else's dreams. And this is the point that I learned very early and the point that I try to make as often as I possibly can, especially to, to young people to dream big. Uh -huh.